Hello there, I hope you're doing well today. And we're gonna be even doing better after we know how to find the percent compositions of potassium, hydrogen, phosphorus, and oh my goodness, oxygen in potassium hydrogen phosphate. First, we gotta find the total mass, create a nice little table to help us out, and then the percentages are gonna be simple. Bam, so the first thing we're gonna do is write the elements we see. So we got potassium, we got hydrogen, we got phosphorus, and we got oxygen. Next is then to write down the number of atoms of each, and that's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of potassium, there's a two, the bottom of hydrogen, there's an assumed one. Phosphorus, same thing, there's a one. And then oxygen, there's going to be four. Then we're gonna take those number of atoms and then we're gonna multiply them by the mass of each particular element there. And that's where we gotta to go to the periodic table. Potassium's 39.10, hydrogen's 1.01, .01, phosphorus is 39, oh, excuse me, 30.97, and oxygen is 16. So we're gonna write those on in. So potassium here was, as it said, 39.10, hydrogen's gonna be 1.01, .01, phosphorus is 30.97, 0.97 and then oxygen is 16. So then we're going to find the total mass of each element in the compound by simply multiplying this row on a cross. So the total mass of potassium here is going to be 78.20. Total mass of hydrogen is simply 1.01. .01. Phosphorus is simply going to be 30.97. And then oxygen, you're going to take 4 and multiply it by the 16. So that works out to be 64. Then to find the total mass of the entire compound, all you got to simply do is add up all the total mass of each individual element. Right, hopefully that makes sense. So this is 174.17, and here it is, right? That represents now the total mass of the entire compound. That's what we needed first before we can find those percentages. I'm gonna add now a column to the table to finish it on out. Bam, so to now find the mass percent or the percent composition of a particular element, we're gonna take the total mass of that element. So for potassium here, it would be 78.20, and simply divide it by the entire mass of the entire compound. So 174.17. Multiply that by 100. This is a simple percent, part over whole times 100. And then when we do that calculation, it should work out to be about 44.90, considering the rounding, all right? Next for hydrogen, it's gonna be the same thing. Take the total there in that column, divide it by then the total of the entire compound, multiply it by 100, and this is gonna be a very tiny percent, right? It should be about like point, I don't know, five, what do you think, 0.58 or so, right, percent? Very, very, very small percentage there, all right? Not even a percent. Uh, next, we're gonna do phosphorus, right? So that's going to be 30, 30.97, divided by the total of 174.17. Hopefully you're detecting the pattern by now. And it makes it quite apparent when you do repetition. So 17.78%, all right? And also structure, right? That's what we're trying to, I'm trying to do here, create like a little structure for you in terms of the table. And, Last but not least for auction, it's gonna be 64. Don't worry about the zeros. You might need to consider them for sig figs on your test, but right now I'm not grading you, so don't worry about it. But just be careful when your teacher wants to take off, you know, 19 points uh, because you missed a sig fig. So here we go, 36. This works out to be 36.75 or so. And when you add these percents together, if you add the rounded percents here in your calculator, you might come out a close to or exactly at 100%. But if you were to add the exact percentages together, it should be exactly 100. So it's just a way to check yourself, all right? That's all there is to it. Now you know how to find the percent composition of every single element inside of potassium hydrogen phosphate. Thank you so very much for tuning in. I'd love to help you out with more stuff, right? We have thousands of videos out there at different subjects also, physics and mathematics. We got biology coming out. We got organic chemistry in here, general chemistry basically. And uh, really our mission is to help you out through as, as many problems as we can. We make problems for you to do. And that's the best way to do well in the class. Do a ton of practice problems. Check out our videos. See if you've done them right. And if you're having trouble, you know, that's the point. Uh, we, we solve them for you. We give you a way to do it. See you soon. Take care.